The state police has revealed that looting of arms has taken place in several locations during the last few days. DGP P. Dongal has appealed to those behind the arms loot to return the arms within the next few days or face action. Significantly, DGP Dongal revealed that the looting of arms have been carried out in an organized manner, taking advantage of large crowds. In his appeal, the DGP even said that arms can be returned without revealing the identity of the depositor. There has been uh, uh, a looting of uh, arms in many places. And the looting is uh, very strange, very organized in the sense that mm, a lot of people come into the uh, police station or uh, not police station, into the place where the armors are, uh, armory is kept. And uh, by the sheer crowd, which are sometimes over 5,000. Uh, in this regard, first of all, we appeal that the arms be returned. And then uh, because we have the CCTV footages and also other uh, uh, evidences, we know that who are the people who are involved. We will e appeal that in the next few days, already some arms have started to come in. But we would also appeal that to give back the arms, the ammunition in uh, the next few days. Otherwise, we will be forced to take very stringent actions and stringent actions in such a way that, as con contemplated by uh, the government, that we shall make their papers, or let's put it first mildly, their papers very difficult. For example, he may not get a passport, or he may not get uh, some other important government documents. Even the uh, uh, immediate family members will also come under this purview. Of course, the appeal is always there. You can even keep the arms in a particular place and then give a call from somewhere saying that the arms are there in so and so place. Please go and collect it. Well, DGP Dongle also revealed how the arms were snatched. The looting of arms, uh, there are about, uh, till now, seven or eight places that has been looted. But it is not something that, uh, you know, the whole thing has been taken away. And also, there are some places where uh, three, four people are uh, caught uh, in a certain place and suddenly a crowd has uh, gathered near them. And th that is one of the times also where some of the arms have been snatched. It is not only that they have uh, uh, tried to loot from an armory or a uh, battalion, but uh, people who are getting isolated, their arms are also being taken away. Meanwhile, ADGP Law and Order L. Kailun said that armed militants have resorted to firing in places like Bishnupur and Kangpokbi. ADGP Kailun said while police will fire live rounds as a last resort, if armed militants mix with the mob and start firing, the police will be forced to retaliate. I have not come to any conclusive evidence on that, but there was some firing heart from some other, not from the police side, from the suspected to be from the armed militants in this Nupur area and in the neighboring district of Kapopi. We are trying to verify it and let me also say that while we are dealing with the mob, <coughs> we are using life round at the last resorts. But when firing comes from the other side, armed militant or somebody mix up with the mob and if they started firing at the police, that will be very unfortunate and our boys will not hesitate to use force in such kind of situation. Well, DGP Dongol meanwhile appealed the people to stay calm and stay indoors while warning that if the army has to take things in its own hands, the situation will be different. Yesterday, as you know, the army has been called in 
government has taken out order uh, by which a curfew has been promulgated and that uh, should at side order has been given. But the thing is that, of course, that is the last resort. If the public go away quietly, then there will be no need for that. The flag marches are on and the army does not uh, deal in a way in which the police deals with the public. They have been trained to fight the enemy while uh, police people are trained to control their own people. So the way in which the army will behave, it will be very different. And we would not, uh, as far as possible, like the order to be carried out in the way it is uh, promulgated. So we would uh, appeal to all the public to stay calm, be uh, in their houses until the situation subsides. More updates coming in from Manipur as uh, many as six submachine guns and one incense rifle snatched from security forces were recovered by the Imphal West Police today. Three protective vests were also recovered by the police. So another development coming in from Manipur viewers as many as six submachine guns and one incense rifle snatched from security forces were recovered by Imphal West Police today. Three protective vests were also recovered by the police. On the other hand, amid the times of crisis and violence, tales of brotherhood and the spirit of unity are also coming to the fore. DGP Dongal informed that there have been several instances in the last few days where communities are extending a helping hand to each other and even providing shelter to each other. We have to be all very careful. Mayamgi cooperation in the next few uh, days I'm uh, sure that everything uh, will come back to normal aduga in the midst of all this also apaba wa taba mayamsi leye all these things are very encouraging whether it be in Imphal where so many tribal peoples are saved or in Churachanpur where uh, Metes are being kept in the house of uh, tribal people. Sigumba, mayam se leya to media. Why na maga phatebadi nate? Every there are so many majority is good, but me a phatebagi kari hai sera voice to kan bani na. That is the thing. It is uh, uh, like uh, in Germany. Adu matam the Nazi pambasi me yam devani adu bo me na to me na leybagi. The whole problem escalated. Adu Gumba ekhoi gisu same condition ne Manipur gimi gidi thamoi. It is good. It is caring for one another. Asuk chahi lelega lemi na bagi. These are all proofs. Adu oibani na we have full faith and that things will come back to normal.